As I reflect on Luke 24 35-48, I am struck by the profound encounter that the disciples had with the risen Jesus. The passage begins with two disciples recounting their experience on the road to Emmaus, where they had encountered a stranger who they eventually realized was Jesus himself. The disciples are still grappling with the reality of Jesus' resurrection, and they are understandably confused and frightened. Suddenly, Jesus himself appears in their midst, greeting them with the familiar words, Peace be with you. But even in this moment of joy and wonder, the disciples are still filled with doubt and disbelief. Jesus responds by inviting them to touch his hands and feet, to see for themselves that he is not a ghost or an apparition, but a living, breathing human being. As I reflect on this passage, I am struck by the way in which Jesus meets the disciples, in their doubts and fears. He does not condemn them, for their lack of faith, but instead offers them physical proof of his resurrection. He eats with them, talking and laughing and sharing in their everyday lives. And then he opens their minds to understand the scriptures, revealing to them the deep truths that had been hidden from their understanding. In many ways, this passage speaks to the deep human longing for connection and understanding. The disciples were struggling to make sense of the world around them. And Jesus met them in that struggle, offering them not only physical proof of his resurrection, but also a deeper understanding of the scriptures and the nature of God. As I read this passage, I am reminded of the many ways in which we too struggle to understand the world around us. We are often beset by doubts and fears, wondering if there is any meaning or purpose to our lives. And yet, like the disciples, we too are invited to encounter the risen Jesus, to touch his wounds and see for ourselves that he is alive and present in our world. As we seek to understand the scriptures and the nature of God, we too are invited to open our minds and hearts to the truth that is revealed to us. And as we do so, we will find that our doubts and fears are met with the same love and compassion that Jesus showed to the disciples so many years ago. For in the end, it is only through encountering the risen Jesus that we can truly find the peace and understanding that our hearts so deeply long for.